This is Ryan Abraham with your Trojan football update. USC spring practice starts in just one week. On March 6th, a Tuesday, 3.15 p.m., you can come down to the USC campus and check out spring football on Howard Jones Field, Brian Kennedy Field, every Tuesday, every Thursday, open practices, 3.15 p.m., and then every Saturday at 10 a.m. Now, March 13th, that week, will be spring break, so no practice then. And there will not be a traditional spring game because of the Coliseum renovation. So you can go to the USC campus on April 14th, the last day of USC spring football, and check out the Trojans at Cromwell Field Locker Track Stadium. You can sit in the stands, watch Matt Fink and Jack Sears battle it out, trying to win that starting quarterback job. Now, in other news, uh, the NFL Combine is this week. Sam Darnold, a lot of people expect to be the number one pick overall in the NFL draft, will not throw at the NFL Combine, but he will go through agility drills. So you can check out him on the NFL Network uh, going through some of those drills. He will throw at the USC Pro Day, though, uh, on March 21st, along with a lot of the other USC Trojans. So you can check that out. In other news, USC is still one assistant short. No running back coach to replace Dylan McCullough. Thought there would be one hired by now. One week out from spring football, we'll see between now and March 6th if someone is announced to be USC's new running back coach. We also do not have an update on the roster. That's supposed to come out a little bit closer to the start of spring football. It's interesting because there's going to be some attrition. If you look at our scholarship distribution chart, it appears to be 90 players on scholarship, which you can only have 85. So anticipated that there will be some attrition on this USC roster just as of right now. We don't know who that's going to be. And then in other news, uh, Joseph Lewis, who was a former five-star wide receiver who was an incoming freshman last year, uh, was arrested. Uh, the felony charges will not be brought against him. They could still bring misdemeanor charges. No update from USC as far as his status with the team. We do not expect to see him out there participating in spring football because he was suspended from all team activities. So we'll keep you up to date on that. The roster, the assistant coaching hires, and everything else Make sure you check out uscfootball.com.